Behind me, workers are excavating a four bay, an underground cavern connected to 34 deep well shafts. The Water Authority is building a new pumping station to ensure Southern Nevada has access to its primary water supply, even as lake mead levels continue to fluctuate during the ongoing droughts. It's dark and wet 500 feet underground, but this is where crews are drilling and blasting to build an underground cavern for the SNWA's low lake level pumping station. When they complete the 12,500 square foot cavern, or four bay, 34 submersible pumps will access water fed from intake three to the cavern and push it through large diameter aqueducts. The aqueducts will convey the water to SNWA's two existing state-of-the-art water treatment facilities. All of these parts play a critical role in pumping water from the lake to our community. One half of the pumping station will pump 600 million gallons per day to our existing Alfred Merritt Smith treatment plant located on the shore of Lake Mead. The other half of the pumping station will pump 300 million gallons per day to our other treatment facility, the River Mountains Treatment Facility located in Henderson. So combined, we'll have a 900 MGD total capacity. The high volume, low lake level pumping station, combined with intake number three, will ensure our access to the primary water source for the more than two million people who live and work in Southern Nevada, even if the lake falls to a level where Hoover Dam can no longer release water downstream. The pumping station will be able to pump water even if Lake Mead's level lowers to the point where intake pumping station one or two can no longer uh, function. And so it's really critical for us as water suppliers to be able to have this infrastructure so that we can supply water to the valley under any condition on the Colorado River. It's just the kind of infrastructure that we need to be able to make sure that we can supply our customers. It's an exciting and really innovative project and really places us at the cutting edge of pumping technology. Scheduled for completion in 2020, the low lake level pumping station can be operated and monitored by personnel on site and remotely. It will be connected to the SNWA's water control network, through which highly trained operators control the facilities necessary to deliver water to the valley. They monitor flows, water levels, system pressures, and water quality through the entire distribution system. Meanwhile, the Water Authority continues to monitor climate conditions and impacts on our water supply. A dry winter in Colorado has so far resulted in below average snowpack in the Rocky Mountains, where we rely on snowmelt to feed Lake Mead. Despite the negative outlook, the SNWA is prepared to meet the challenges. Thanks to the community's aggressive response to the conservation measures that have been in place, our community has positioned itself very well to be able to have sufficient water even in the event a shortage is declared. That's because conservation efforts since the drought began have reduced in our water consumption by approximately a third, which will allow the community to be able to absorb these shortages without significantly impacting our water use. In the event of a shortage declaration, water deliveries to Arizona, Nevada, and Mexico will be reduced. For Nevada's part, our community would temporarily forego 13,000 of our 300,000 acre foot allocation from Lake Mead, with a maximum shortage of 20,000 acre feet if lake levels decline further. Our community's water use is already well below those levels due in large part to the success of local conservation efforts. Renewing commitments to share the use of and responsibilities for the Colorado River, the United States and Mexico extended an existing agreement in 2017 to strengthen drought protection and potentially keep billions of additional gallons of water in Lake Mead. Key elements of Minute 323 include environmental restoration and a variety of water conservation projects to be undertaken within that nation. Another provision allows Mexico to create a water reserve in the U.S. by deferring delivery of a portion of its annual Colorado River allocation. It's anticipated that much of the water will help maintain Lake Mead's elevation and avert declared shortages. The SNWA works diligently to maximize the existing water resources available to Southern Nevada and keeps a water resource plan that extends water supply and demand scenarios through the next half century. The plan provides a comprehensive overview of projected water demands in Southern Nevada, as well as the water resources available to meet those demands over time. The plan is reviewed annually and was last updated in 2017. Lake Mead is the largest reservoir on the Colorado River system and the largest in the United States. Protecting it is vital to the Water Authority. 
Reporting for Waterways, I'm Crystal Zelke.